Okay, lots of time on my hands. I bought a work bee. So it works. It's bigger than the ox. Um, and it just does the z-axis stuff better. Just the first project is making a plate to put the uh, the mount on. I have lots of these, um, mostly the wrong size. Um, you can see how I ended up putting it on this one, where it's it, it's basically a lot of pieces that are hard to make move all together, and instead I went to a set of recessed. Uh, um, M5 screws and I'll hook them up with a single set of those and then I'll put a second one of these here. This will mount to the uh, that guy, the, the mount um, and it will mount through four screws, this one and then these guys up here. Most of these are a little big so you anchor it with this guy and then you juggle it around until it's until it's level with these. These guys here would be tapped, and I'll put grub screws in those, and then they can uh, they can move out. They're lined up to go into the grooves of the actual um, extrusion, but the main problem with that is that. You know, that's that's a long grub screw at that point. Um, so I may have to do something about that. But this went well on all the screws. But what it didn't go well, and I don't know if you can see it, is that is after cleanup passes. Um, that's bad. And this side is really bad. And what was happening there was I went with my flute carbide end mill, which you probably can't even see, um, that guy right there, and these, the screws were done with multiple finish passes, and the end bits were done with full depth passes, which just kept stalling the machine. So I think I could have solved that with a higher rate of speed, um, four flute end mill, which I think a four fluid end mill and like quadrupling the speed the machine was going would have been a great idea because those chips were fine the machine just was uh, taking a sweet time so anyway that's all hope your quarantine's going well